Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. A Sunday morning edition of Cafecito and Canes. Got my much needed Cafecito right here. I'm going to take a sip. Cheers. Mm. Yesterday was a good day in Canes recruiting. Um, Jabori Antoine, one of the top 10 corners in all of America, the number two player, according to the 247 composite in the state of Louisiana, committed to the University of Miami yesterday afternoon at about 5 p.m. Now, this was big for a few reasons. I mean, number one, getting a top 10 player at their respective position is always huge. Um, but number two, because Miami recruiting took a bit of an L earlier this week, uh, not picking up a commitment from DJ Pickett, which uh, some of us kind of expected. We were kind of bracing for that when he moved up his commitment date. We thought uh, it might, you know, could go either way. Um, I was still holding out hope that he might commit to Miami now. But uh, no, commits to LSU, which I think made some fans a little nervous because Jabori Antoine decommitted from LSU about a month ago. So some were worried that, oh, could DJ Pickett go into LSU, maybe sway Antoine to commit back to LSU. Thankfully, that didn't happen. He committed to Miami. Um, and as for DJ Pickett, I think we still have a great shot at flipping him later, as we did with some big targets in the past. Mark Fletcher. Justin Scott, et cetera, and flipping them away from big programs after a mediocre season. So I can only imagine what we could do flip-wise <laughs> later in December if we put a good season on the field. But, you know, that's for later. But another huge reason um, this was a big pickup is because I think fans were kind of getting on Coach Chevis Jackson a little bit. And I don't understand why, because if you look at who he has picked up without even – coaching a down uh, for the Miami Hurricanes. He's only been here for this offseason. Look at who he's picked up so far. Obviously, he picked up Jabori Antoine last night, high four-star recruit, top 100 player overall. He picked up Chris, Uwald, uh, Chris Ewald, um, also blue chip corner, very talented from the area. Um, picked up Amari Wallace, very talented four-star safety, could probably play a little corner as well, and picked up Timothy Merritt. So he's not a blue chipper, but three star got a lot of size, 6'2, 180 pounds, and is fast as hell, very athletic. I think it's slot into safety in the future, you know, after developing for a couple of years. So Chevis Jackson has done some great work so far. Um, again, people have gotten on him for not picking up DJ Pickett. Listen, that's the number one player in the state of Florida. Everyone is after him. Uh, you know, if it wasn't LSU, Oregon was on his tail as well. I still feel confident about that one. I'm not going to be too, you know, I, we have a great class. I would love to pick him up. You know, it, it would suck if we didn't at the end of the season. But, you know, I'm not going to be like super upset if we don't. Right now, according to, I think it was on three that I saw yesterday that we're now the number nine class in the entire nation. Again, that's without having played a down. So I think that can only improve once we start playing and start getting some W's. So this was a big pickup. Again, uh, love the kid. Jabori Antoine, I think, has a chance to be a big-time player in this program. And not just that, I think he has a chance to play early. He's got good size, good length at 6'1", 170, 170, 180 pounds in that range. You know, he'll beef up a little bit. But – Great cover guy. I mean, sticks to guys like absolute glue. Um, you know, it's hard to find. Uh, it's it's easier to find those, um, especially in today's college football, those corners that are physical, that like to come up and hit. They can jam the receiver. But guys that can just cover down the field and read plays well and are very smart, understand zones and things like that, that's a little more difficult to find those high IQ guys. He's an athlete on top of being very intelligent, mature kid, definitely someone you want as part of this program, part of the culture and all that. So great pickup. Again, very happy about it. We're in, we're, we're, we're sitting very well right now, overall in recruiting. Again, not even having played it down. This can only improve. This can only get better barring any disasters on the field, which I have said many, many, many times. I do not foresee that happening. So enjoy this one, Canes fans. It's a good one. Jabori Antoine, welcome to the family. And as always, 
Go Kings.